Friday, November 11th, 1770. The time? Midnight. The HMS Endeavour, commanded by British explorer Captain James Cook, is navigating the waters off the coast of Australia. The ship's crew is unaware that they are approaching one of the most extraordinary natural wonders of the world. Suddenly, a loud crunch echoes through the ship. The Endeavour has struck an unseen reef, tearing its hull and bringing it dangerously close to disaster. That reef was a part of the Great Barrier Reef, a vast and intricate ecosystem stretching over 2,300 kilometers along the northeastern coast of Australia. It is the largest coral reef system on Earth, home to thousands of species of marine life and visible from space. But the Great Barrier Reef is more than just a natural marvel. It's a story of resilience, adaptation, and survival in one of the most fragile ecosystems on the planet. How did this vast underwater kingdom come to be? Why is it so crucial to the health of our oceans? And can it survive the mounting pressures of climate change, pollution, and human activity? Stay with us as we dive deep into the mysteries, science, and beauty of the Great Barrier Reef, the living coral kingdom, the birth of a coral kingdom. The Great Barrier Reef is one of the most remarkable natural formations on Earth, but its story began millions of years ago, shaped by the slow, relentless forces of geology, climate, and biology. Today, it spans over 2,300 kilometers along Australia's northeastern coast, encompassing nearly 3,000 individual reefs and over 900 islands. But how did this underwater marvel come to exist? The foundation beneath the coral. The Great Barrier Reef's origins trace back to the movement of tectonic plates. As the Indo-Australian plate drifted northward over millions of years, it created the perfect conditions for coral growth. Warm, shallow seas and stable continental shelves provided a foundation for coral polyps, tiny marine animals that formed the building blocks of reefs. Coral polyps secrete calcium carbonate, creating hard skeletons that fuse together to form reefs. Over thousands of generations, these reefs expanded, creating the intricate living structures we see today. A symphony of biodiversity. The reef is more than just coral, it's an entire ecosystem. Over 1,500 species of fish, 400 species of coral, and countless other marine creatures call the Great Barrier Reef home. From the dazzling parrotfish to the gentle green sea turtle, the reef is a hot spot of biodiversity, rivaling even the rainforests of the Amazon. This immense variety of life is made possible by the reef's structure. Coral provides shelter, food, and breeding grounds for marine life creating a delicate web of interdependence. Predators like reef sharks keep fish populations in check, while herbivores like parrotfish graze on algae, preventing it from overwhelming the coral. An ecosystem in balance. The Great Barrier Reef's health depends on a delicate balance. Coral thrives in warm, nutrient-poor waters, relying on a symbiotic relationship with algae called zooxanthellae. These algae live inside the coral, providing it with energy through photosynthesis in exchange for shelter. But this balance is fragile. Even slight changes in water temperature, acidity, or pollution levels can disrupt the relationship between coral and algae, leading to coral bleaching, a phenomenon where corals expel their algae and turn ghostly white. A living wonder of the world, declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1981, the Great Barrier Reef is recognized as a global treasure. Its beauty and importance extend beyond the ocean. It supports the livelihoods of millions through fishing, tourism, and cultural heritage, particularly for Australia's indigenous communities, who have revered the reef for thousands of years. Yet for all its beauty and complexity, the Great Barrier Reef faces mounting challenges. How did this ancient ecosystem adapt to past changes, and can it survive the pressures of the modern world? A fragile balance under threat. The Great Barrier Reef is often described as a living organism, constantly growing, changing, and adapting. But like all ecosystems, it is highly sensitive to external pressures, and today those pressures are mounting at an unprecedented pace. The threat of coral bleaching. One of the most visible threats to the reef is coral bleaching. This phenomenon occurs when corals, stressed by rising sea temperatures, expel the algae, zooxanthellae, that live within their tissues. Without these algae, 
the coral loses its vibrant colors and more importantly, its primary energy source. Bleaching events have become alarmingly frequent. In the past two decades alone, the Great Barrier Reef has experienced multiple mass bleaching events, with 2016 and 2017 seeing some of the most severe damage in recorded history. Warmer ocean temperatures, driven by climate change, are the primary culprit, but local stressors like pollution and overfishing exacerbate the problem. The impact of pollution. Pollution is another significant challenge. Agricultural runoff from mainland Australia carries fertilizers, pesticides, and sediments into the ocean, reducing water quality around the reef. These pollutants promote the growth of algae that can smother coral, disrupting the delicate balance of the ecosystem. Plastic pollution also poses a threat. Marine debris can entangle coral and marine life, while microplastics are ingested by fish and other organisms, potentially entering the food chain and impacting the health of the entire ecosystem. Crown of Thorns Starfish. Adding to these challenges is a natural predator of coral, the Crown of Thorns Starfish. While these spiny creatures are a part of the reef's ecosystem, outbreaks of Crown of Thorns populations, fueled by nutrient-rich runoff, can devastate coral colonies. The starfish consume live coral, leaving behind barren patches that take years to recover. The ripple effect. The health of the reef doesn't just impact marine life, it has far-reaching consequences for humans as well. The reef supports thousands of jobs in tourism and fishing industries and generates billions of dollars for the Australian economy annually. Indigenous communities whose cultural heritage is deeply tied to the reef are also at risk of losing an irreplaceable part of their identity. As threats to the reef intensify, scientists and conservationists are racing to find solutions. What can be done to protect this living wonder, and can we learn from the reef's past resilience to secure its future? The science of resilience and survival. The Great Barrier Reef has survived for millennia, enduring changes in sea levels, temperatures, and even ice ages. Its resilience is a testament to the adaptability of nature. But is that resilience enough to withstand the pressures of the modern era? Lessons from the past. The reef's geological history offers clues about its ability to recover. During the last ice age, when sea levels were much lower, much of the reef was exposed and dormant. As the climate warmed and sea levels rose, coral polyps recolonized submerged areas, rebuilding the reef into the vast ecosystem we see today. This natural resilience gives scientists hope. Corals have shown an ability to adapt to gradual changes, but the current rate of environmental change particularly from human-induced climate shifts, poses a unique challenge. Innovations in coral conservation. Scientists are exploring groundbreaking methods to help the reef survive. One such innovation is coral gardening, where healthy coral fragments are grown in nurseries and transplanted back onto damaged sections of the reef. This technique has shown promise in restoring degraded areas and accelerating recovery. Another approach involves breeding heat-resistant corals. By identifying and cultivating coral species that can tolerate higher temperatures, researchers aim to create reefs that are more resilient to climate change. The role of marine protected areas. Australia has also established extensive marine protected areas, MPAs, to shield the reef from human activity. These zones limit fishing, shipping, and other potentially harmful activities, allowing marine life and coral ecosystems to recover undisturbed. While MPAs provide critical protection, they are not immune to external threats like climate change. Coordinated global action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions remains essential to preserving the reef's long-term health. Community and indigenous efforts. Local communities and indigenous groups play a vital role in conservation efforts. Many indigenous Australians view the reef as a sacred entity and draw upon traditional ecological knowledge to protect it. Collaborating with scientists and conservationists, they are working too. Monitor the reef's health and implement sustainable practices. The Great Barrier. Reef's resilience offers hope, but the clock is ticking. Can these conservation efforts keep pace with the threats facing the reef? Or are we witnessing the slow decline of one of the planet's most extraordinary ecosystems? Can we save the Great Barrier Reef? As the Great Barrier Reef faces mounting challenges, the fight to save it has become a global effort. Scientists, governments, conservationists, and indigenous communities 
are working together to ensure that this living coral kingdom can survive for future generations. But the question remains, can we save the reef before it's too late? The power of restoration projects. One of the most promising strategies for preserving the reef is large-scale restoration. Coral gardening projects are expanding across the region, with nurseries growing heat-resistant coral fragments that are then transplanted onto damaged areas. These efforts aim to kickstart natural recovery processes, giving the reef a fighting chance against threats like bleaching and pollution. In addition, researchers are testing innovative techniques such as underwater robots, which can plant coral larvae at scale, and artificial reefs made of eco-friendly materials to provide new habitats for marine life. Technological Breakthroughs Technology is playing an increasingly important role in reef conservation. Satellite imagery and drones are being used to monitor the health of the reef in real time, allowing scientists to respond quickly to changes. Advanced modeling systems also help predict the impact of future events like heat waves or cyclones, enabling proactive management. Other breakthroughs include the development of cloud brightening technology, which sprays microscopic sea salt particles into the atmosphere to reflect sunlight and reduce ocean temperatures. Though still in experimental stages, this approach could help mitigate the effects of climate change on the reef. Policy and global action. Saving the Great Barrier Reef isn't just a local issue, it's a global challenge. Climate change is the single greatest threat to the reef, and reducing greenhouse gas emissions is critical to its survival. Australia has committed to several climate targets, but the global community must also play its part to curb warming and protect marine ecosystems worldwide. Stronger environmental policies are also needed to reduce pollution and overfishing in the reef's surrounding waters. Programs like the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority work to enforce regulations, but greater international cooperation is essential for long-term success. Local and Indigenous Leadership Indigenous communities whose cultural ties to the reef stretch back thousands of years are at the forefront of conservation efforts. Using traditional ecological knowledge, they monitor reef health, manage sustainable fishing practices, and educate others about the importance of preserving this natural wonder. Their collaboration with scientists and policymakers has proven invaluable, bridging the gap between modern science and ancient wisdom. Indigenous perspectives emphasize the interconnectedness of the reef's ecosystem, reminding the world that the survival of the reef is inseparable from the health of the planet. Signs of hope. While the challenges are immense, there are glimmers of hope in some areas of the Great Barrier Reef, corals are showing signs of natural recovery after bleaching events. Marine protected areas are successfully replenishing fish stocks, and restoration projects are proving that damaged reefs can be revived. However, time is running out. Without sustained efforts to combat climate change and protect the reef, these gains could be short-lived. As we explore the future of the Great Barrier Reef, one question remains. Will humanity rise to the challenge of protecting this living coral kingdom, or will it become another casualty of a warming planet? The future of the living coral kingdom. The Great Barrier Reef stands at a crossroads. As one of the most extraordinary ecosystems on Earth, its survival is not just a local concern, it's a global responsibility. The decisions we make today will determine whether this living coral kingdom thrives for generations to come or becomes a relic of a planet that could not adapt. A call for global action. Climate change is the single most pressing threat to the reef. Without immediate and significant reductions in greenhouse gas emissions, the warming oceans will continue to trigger mass bleaching events, potentially pushing coral ecosystems past the point of recovery. This challenge requires a global response, from international climate agreements like the Paris Accord to grassroots movements advocating for sustainable practices, every effort counts. The reef's future is directly tied to the choices made by governments, businesses, and individuals worldwide. The role of education and awareness. Raising awareness about the Great Barrier Reef's importance is crucial to its preservation. Education programs in schools, community outreach, and global media campaigns are helping people understand the vital role reefs play in maintaining marine biodiversity and supporting human livelihoods. Tourism, too, plays a dual role. While it must be managed responsibly to prevent harm to the ecosystem, 
It also allows millions of visitors to experience the reef's beauty firsthand, fostering a personal connection and a desire to protect it. Hope and resilience. The reef's natural resilience offers hope. Coral reefs have survived for millions of years, adapting to changing climates and evolving challenges. With the help of innovative conservation techniques, it's possible that the Great Barrier Reef could overcome the threats it faces today. Local restoration projects are already showing success, with coral nurseries, heat-resistant species, and marine protected areas offering a blueprint for the future. If these efforts can be scaled up and supported by global action, the reef's decline could be slowed and even reversed. Why the reef matters, the Great Barrier. Reef isn't just a wonder of nature. It's a cornerstone of life on Earth. It supports thousands of species, provides food and income for millions of people, and acts as a natural barrier against storms for coastal communities. Its cultural significance, especially to indigenous Australians, makes it irreplaceable. But beyond its tangible benefits, the reef is a symbol of our planet's interconnectedness. Its survival reminds us of the delicate balance that sustains life and our collective responsibility to protect it. Conclusion. The future of the Great Barrier Reef isn't written yet. It will depend on a global commitment to fighting climate change, protecting ecosystems, and embracing innovation. The reef is a testament to nature's resilience, but it's also a reflection of humanity's ability to make a difference. If this journey into the Great Barrier Reef inspired you, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more stories about the wonders of our planet. What do you think is the most urgent step we need to take to save the reef? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, the reef's survival starts with all of us.